the reason why I am making stuffed grape leaves. If you look all along my fence, I have an abundance of grapes and grape leaves growing all along my pool area and on that end on my harbor. I mean, I've got some growing over there also. But this is why I'm making grape leaves. Now, these grape leaves have so much vitamins, I can't even tell you how beneficial they really are. So if you have a neighbor who has grape leaves uh, or a grapevine, or if you have some at home, you should just pick them and cook them up till they're nice and tender and that's a meal believe it or not I'm gonna chop these up and cook them up with some rice with a little bit of lemon juice and uh, yeah make a deconstructed grape leaf with the lemon juice and the mint and chopped up grape leaves they are so healthy for you and look at these beautiful raspberries I've got so much raspberries growing my daughter got up this morning and she picked up a whole bowl which she ate and these are all raspberries and all of this is raspberries along the other side of my yard there's more raspberries and they're so good and the best part of these raspberries is they grow twice a year we're gonna get them now and come this fall they're gonna be three times the size of the raspberries now So it is hot as crazy outside. And my pool still hasn't, my pool liner still hasn't arrived. So I am drinking a nice glass of kombucha and making more kombucha. This is, don't mind the bottle, but it is apple pie kombucha. So delicious. It's cinnamon sticks and um, apple juice and it makes the best best kombucha ever and it's so refreshing especially when it's hot out and today is really a scorcher my daughter's outside editing a couple of videos and I'm gonna start a new batch I'm making the tea I'm dissolving the sugar I'm putting in my tea bags and this is gonna sit until tomorrow and it's going to take all the flavors of the tea that's steeping. And then I'm going to bottle some more kombucha. I'm probably going to make some hibiscus. I just finished a beautiful video of my grape, stuffed grape leaves. And then I'm going to go out and get some more grape leaves that I'm going to cook. And I'm going to cut, chop them up and put them in some rice. And that's going to be a nice side dish, or even a main dish. When you're vegan, a bowl of rice could be a meal for us. And people don't quite understand that yet. They keep asking, but what do you eat? If you don't eat meat, what do you eat? Well, sometimes I'll have a bowl of rice. Sometimes I'll have a bowl of salad. As long as you're eating, it doesn't have to be meat as long as you're eating you're getting all the protein you need and whatever nutrients you're absorbing during the day with fruit and vegetables and we actually get more nutrients than the people that do eat meat so yeah it doesn't mean that you have to have um, a major protein dish you can just get protein out of everything you eat. So yeah. I'm going to pick up some of those leaves. And those leaves have vitamin K. It has so many great vitamins. It even has some B vitamins in there. So now I'm just going to put this to rest. And come tomorrow, I'm going to make my new batch. So I'm just going to put this on the side here. It is so hot. This water is so hot. Got to take something before I burn myself. There we go. And that's going to rest until tomorrow when I start making my new batch of kombucha. Right now I have to bottle some. 
and I'm just going to push this kombucha over to the side and show you the bottle that I have, not the bottle, the large jar that I have, that I have to bottle. And here it is. I'm just going to show it to you. And there's my beautiful SCOBY inside. All the bubbles. Mm, that means it's fermented. And now that is just a little bit of yeast. That's nothing to be worried about. As long as your SCOBY is beautiful and white. See how nice that is? And that just keeps growing. Then you know you have a healthy SCOBY. So I'm just going to bottle some of this and we're going to keep this cover so nothing goes into it. I don't want to destroy anything in this kombucha. And I'm going to go get my hibiscus, which I'm going to show you. Push this aside. I'll be right back. So I'm going to show you what I use. double bag it because I was going to lose it, but I use sun-dried, um, I use uh, sun-dried Sorel, and this is what it looks like, and this is going to make my kombucha a very pretty pink color. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to show you how I do it. I've already shown you how I make my uh, how I make my kombucha, but I'm just going to show you today because I was outside showing you my grapevines and then I came in. I was so thirsty because it's so hot out there and I decided to get myself a nice bottle of uh, kombucha and uh, it's so refreshing and it reminded me I have to bottle a batch. Just going to show you again how I do it. Here's my, uh, let's see if I can put this. Okay, so here's my bottle and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to take some of this. I'm going to put it in a container that's easier for me to pour. My hands are washed, so don't freak out, guys. I know some people are saying that I shouldn't be using my hands, but I'm Italian. And that's all I do is use my hands. So, here we go. I'm just going to pour some of this in a container where it's going to be easier for me to pour out. Now, what I do is... Uh, this is completely fermented, so there's no more sugar left in this um, in this batch that I'm pouring out. So I do get my empty bottles that are nicely washed, and I'm going to add to this one teaspoon of cane sugar. Uh, I could even put a little extra because it will. I will have this fermenting again for another week or so. So the tea that I put in here will be absorbing all this sugar. It's just going to eat it up. And it's going to form its own little scoby. So you might see a little scoby growing into your kombucha. If you haven't, um, if you let it sit around a long time, you're going to see that it's also going to start making a, a scoby right into uh, your bottle. And that's why we call it a live scoby. Uh, the kombucha is a live raw kombucha. There's nothing pasteurized in this kombucha that I make. And now, um, I added the sugar, and you know, if we drink this sooner than later, it might have a little sweetness, but not that much. Nothing compared to the sugar that I did put in here, which is a teaspoon. So, by the time I do drink it, there's like less than a quarter teaspoon of sugar inside my bottle. Sometimes none left. So, uh, but I do add some extra sugar because I want to keep fermenting it in my bottle. And here's my flour that's nice and dry. And I'm going to put this, since this is a big one, it's going to be nice and pink, this bottle. But I'm going to put it right into my bottle. And I'm going to top this off with my plain tea kombucha. And this is how I bottle uh, my 
kombucha. Uh, sometimes I do it with fruit, sometimes I do it with fruit juices, and sometimes I just do it with flowers. And this time we're doing flowers. And it is one of the best teas you could drink. It's like a nice little pink champagne. So this is how I bottle uh, my floral uh, my floral kombucha. So thanks for sharing this with me. And um, I'm going to see you in my next video, guys. Thank you. There we go. And tap this off. Thank you.